Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm with my boy Dan. Hi guys. And we are going to be doing the mystery drink challenge. So how this is actually going to work is me and Dan here are going to answer questions from are you smarter than a fifth grader from my boy Brian over here. What's up? He's going to be the cameraman. He's going to read the questions to us and me and Dan are going to answer them to the best of our ability. So how this works is we're going to put our answers down on these sheets and we're not going to let each other see it. Then we're going to answer it and Brian's going to let us know if we're right or wrong. If one of us is wrong, so say Dan's wrong, I get to choose one of these cups and pour it into his glass. The first person to reach five answers wrong and gets their glass filled has to drink the whole glass by the end of the challenge. Alright gentlemen, are you ready for your first question? No. Well, nice. I guess we gotta stop the video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, the first question is in astronomy, what star is closest to Earth? Are you guys ready? Yes. Ready. Reveal your answers. Uh, you are both correct. Great. You're not idiots. Slow. Okay. Um. Got a little. All right. Up. Next question. You could turn them into hats. <laughs> what do we call the currency of Australia? If you're gonna say euro or pound, you're wrong. I'm not looking. Um, I swear I'm not looking. I'm looking. Three. Two, one. All right, pens down. You were both wrong. It is actually just the dollar. What? What? I put euro. After you told me not to. <laughs> Look what I put. You put snake skin? That is so. <laughs> okay, next question. Which of the following words refers to a marine mammal? A marine mammal? What is that? Oh, like a whale or a dolphin. That's a marine mammal or a manatee. Well, I don't think you're supposed to say the answer out loud. Those so now we hands. can't. Now we can't use that question. Why would you say it out loud? No, He's a, that's a point. Marine. I thought like I'm giving examples like those are what they are. <laughs> God damn it. Wait, wait. The answer's a well, right? Well, it was a well, but now since Dan said it out loud, I we're not going to use I that question. <laughs> sorry, I screwed up. I'm trying. I'm sorry. I guess I'm not as smart as the fifth. <laughs> Fourth question now. Which units would you use to measure the distance from the Earth to the Moon? Units? Like a unit of measurement. Please tell me who put it. Raise your answers. <laughs> and the correct answer is miles. Boom. And it's correct. So Boom, we, we finally get to choose our first drink. I put yards. Select a drink, please. Next question. Eeny, no. beeny, miny, mo. I choose that one. Oh, man. What's Ooh, in there? Here we go. What is in there? Ooh, orange, juice. orange juice or Tropicana is on the bottom. Tropicana. I can use some vitamin C. What up? This one should be pretty easy for you guys, especially if you've done math. Math? Oh, math. Math. Math, math. math. math is good math. too, but math. Math. <laughs> I hate math. Okay. What is the decimal equivalent of four eighths? I'm just going to write this, and it's going to be wrong, but this is always what I resort to in these situations. All right. You are both wrong. It is actually just 0.5. I put 1.4. I put 32. What? I did four times eight. God damn it, guys. What is half of eight? Four. Bruh. I'm sorry. I don't know, man. I fucking... Also, damn. I tried to flick it that way, and it just rolled off. Okay. The Siberian plane borders what ocean? Don't tell me. Does he know? Probably, because <laughs> it's like a ge geographical plane. question. Show your answers. And... Dan is correct again. It is the Arctic Ocean. In your face. In your face. <laughs> Dan, please choose your second drink. Gods are telling me to pick actually this one. Oh man, what is that? Ooh. It's still yellow. V8? Yeah. V8. 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 That is V8, yeah, I believe. V8. I believe the flavor stuff. is Tropical Blast. If well, I'm you're not getting like all the healthy stuff. If I win this, do I get a trophy? Alright, this one is pretty easy. What makes up a constellation? I don't know the answer to Shut that. Shut up. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know the answer to anything. Um, I was just wait. looking at constellations last night, actually. Ten seconds. seconds. Ten seconds. Wait, wait, what was the question? I know I can't help now. Alright, show your answers. Dan is correct again for the third time in a row. What is it? it is stars. stars. You've learned this in elementary school, my friend. Bruh. I was doing that last night. <laughs> These, I'm choosing the easy questions. Oh, that didn't. Okay. Good. I scored the paper in the cups, so I'm, I don't lose that every time. All right, Dan, choose your third drink. Adam. Since we got row of twos, I'm gonna keep the flow going and going with this one. What is it? I don't know. B A I. What? That was clear. That is by. That I think that is the coconut water. I think. I'm, <laughs> you actually stuttered there. Oh my 
is horrible. Um, next question, please. Okay, in what habitat would you find a meerkat? I never heard of that. I know. What habitat would you find a meerkat in? I watched the Animal Planet. They actually had a show called Meerkat Matter. It was a good show. I remember that show. I, that if I can't spell it, can I just say it out loud? All right. You guys ready? Reveal your answers. I go with the plains of Africa. You are both wrong. Is it actually just the desert? Thank God. Ooh, ooh. I got a good question. Okay. On the periodic table, what element is represented by the letters T I? Oh, I know it. I just can't spell it. Okay. All right. Show your answers. All right, I'm guessing you tried to say titanium. You are correct. I'll Wait, give I, it that's to you. What I, put. I know you're both oh, right. Oh. He put tyranium, and I'm like, all right, that Wait, sounds close enough to spelled it right. Can we get a point for who spelled it right? No. <laughs> Next question: What kind of disaster is a volcano? <laughs> all right, you're both wrong. You're kind of wrong. It just says geological. So I. A natural disaster. I you're both wrong. You're both wrong. Screw you. I'm the closest. Shit. Mount Everest is located on which continent? So. There's only seven continents. You have to choose one. Can I skip this question? No. I can't spell the continent. <laughs> Reveal your answers, please. I know this is wrong. Dan is correct again. It is Asia. Oh wow. Ooh. What is that? I can't. Just went to a darker shade of orange. Punt leaf. Pure leaf. Pure leaf. Punt leaf. <laughs> that is an iced tea. Dan is at game point. If Joey fails the next question and Dan gets it right, Joey will be the loser and will have to drink his entire glass. The next question is, which should be really easy because we play a game about it, Saturn is most famous for which feature? <laughs> Reveal your answers, please. She says, right, God, I'm gonna laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Reveal your answers. Joey, reveal your answer. You are both correct. It is definitely the rings. If you literally put dreadnought, I was gonna like lose my head. <laughs> the country of Mali, which is spelled M-A-L-I, gained independence from what European colonial power in 1960? Mali, 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 Mali. Please write your answers down. And just for an easy hint, it's a European colony. Mali. Okay, I know. Please show your answers. Indeed, it is France. What did you put? France! Me too. No. <laughs> Dan wins the game! Drum roll! Alright, please select your last drink. Come on, something horrible. B.A., that is body armor. The I drinks that it. I'm Joey has in his cup right now are... V8 Splash Tropical Blend, Body Armor Mixed Berry, Tropicana No Pulp, Bi Antioxidant Infusion Molecule, Mole I don't even know how to pronounce that, sorry, it says coconut. And then last but not least, he's got Pure Leaf Sweet Tea. All of it, all of it, drink it, all of it. Come on, come on, feel those vitamins inside you. I hear it. <laughs> All right, and for the winner, Dan has to drink the orange juice and the muscle milk together. <laughs> Dan just gave me this mean ass look. <laughs> You're dead to me. Our dead winner here is Dan. Yeah, I did not go help with this. <laughs> I'm amazing. Watch the History Channel, the real one. Okay, guys, so that's it for this video. If you liked this video, give it a big thumbs up. And also, don't forget, if you want to see another challenge I had Dan in, click on his face. We did the Honey Bunny Challenge together. We did do the Honey Bunny Challenge. We should show that one. Don't forget to comment down below what you think of our crazy mixture of drinks. Click on his face for another video. He is done with himself and not me in it. Oh. That is it. Dan's dead. Peace out.